tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go, we're ready to go, and it should be a good one. This taken in about four yards deep. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Broncos offense set to go behind their quarterback in his second season now from Missouri, Charles. It's Drew Locke. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. They'll run for the first time with Philip Lindsay. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. The pickup of six. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. The false start hurts them there a bit. Backs them up to second and nine. Shotgun snap to Locke. And he hits his target, Deshaun Hamilton. It's a gain of five, and it'll be third down. So a we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Sam Martin on to kick it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. That's what you think my rookie Nice but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The Jets offense ready for their first possession, and they are led by the 23-year-old from USC in his third year now, quarterback Sam Darnold. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. 
but I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting out a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, we'll rally his team to a win. The numbers for Crowder a week ago, five catches, 87 yards. Better tighten up the coverage if you expect to slow this guy down because if he gets going, he'll eat you up. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. They'll run here with a former Steeler. This is Le'Veon Bell, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The tackle made by Shelby Harris. On second and nine, Darnold. It's complete to Jerron Brown. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 42. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now a first down carry by Bell. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Here's Frank Gore, the veteran who sits third all-time in rush yards. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. for Steven Hauschka. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will remain a scoreless game. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos and a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves out that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? That's it. Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told them. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Credit the sack to Von Miller. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if I'm going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot of games. So that complicates things a bit. 18 yards to go now on second down. Darnold from the gun. 
And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. This is taken at the 23. Yes. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Out there to start their next drive, Philip yes. Lindsay and the Broncos. Yes. Locking the Broncos going to come up first and 10 at their own 23. He'll hand this one off to Gordon. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Gordon, the ball carrier. Pierre Desir on the stop. A gain of two. Brings up second. From the 24. Lock. He'll find Lindsay here. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. should actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Locke working out of the gun. This is the tight end fan, and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. New York ready to go again offensively. And a safety the last go around. That's how we arrive at this 2-0 score. We'll see if they can respond. Such an oddity, isn't it? See those two points go up on the board, that knowing like that you soccer. exactly, <laughs> and knowing that you did it to give those points up for your team. Now they're just looking to get back out on the field and make up for it. They run with Bell on first down as he'll get forward for about five yards. From the 28, it's second and five. A shotgun snap for Darnold. That's complete. It's Bell. Darnold's pass. Complete to Le'Veon Bell. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. the shotgun. Here's Darnold. And it's caught by Herndon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Darnold to his tight end, Herndon. First down, New York. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. They'll run on first down. It's Bell. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Carry there by Le'Veon Bell. He's just trying to get back to the form he exhibited in Pittsburgh when he's one of the top backs in the NFL. In 2019, though, no games over 100 yards rushing and only three games with 20 or more carries. The more he touches it, the more effective he is. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Faking the give, Darnold. He's got this one complete to Perriman. 
And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. First down. 25 yards that time. Completion there to Brashad Perriman and the best part of his game coming out of UCF is ability to run a sub 4-4 sprinter. They need him now in New York to replace speeds to Robbie Anderson who signed with Carolina. He's going to take over the outside vertical routes that Anderson provided and they're hoping for big plays downfield. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Second and ten. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was coming. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It's Christian Covington who notches the sack there. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Darnold and the Jets come up third and long. Fall into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Isaac Yitem in there to pick it. And they have the football that will take over at the 24-yard line. First and 10. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they bring in an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up easily. And Denver getting set to take the field. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. That catch good for only a couple. Melvin Gordon. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. At the 25 yard line. now to throw. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, Locke. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Locke looks to throw it again. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. First down, Denver. Nice catch there by the rookie out of Alabama, Jerry Judy, and I am fired up to see the chemistry develop between he and Drew Locke, their quarterback, and in addition, Cortland Sutton, their Pro Bowl wide receiver from last year. This might be the best pair of receivers the Broncos have had since Demarius Bay Bay Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders. This should be fun for Bronco fans to watch. On first and 10, here's Locke. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Brings up second. Looking to throw again on second down. Lock. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. The kick by McManus is good. And that will give us the very rare scoreline of five to nothing. Gets nothing. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So we've come to halftime in a five-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report.
coach. Okay, Brandon, Charles, thanks very much. Welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's take a look at what we've got on tap as we wrap up the first quarter of the NFL season. Plenty of good games to choose from in that early window. We'll highlight the one down in Tampa. A big test for the Bucks at home as they'll square off against the L.A. Chargers. In the late afternoon games, all eyes will be on Las Vegas. A glitzy matchup there where it'll be the Raiders taking on the Buffalo Bills. And then lastly, the nation gets a good one on Sunday night. Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. In the game you're watching, it's been Drew Locke with a strong first half. His guys have the lead as we head back up to MetLife Stadium and Brandon Godden. Brandon. All right, Coach, thank you. We welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The offense trots back out of the field, and we shot our man spotlight on Sam Darnold. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game so maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much and we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward well you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call no not at all and it's been a long day for this crowd waiting for this game it's been a long evening as well finally they feel they got a call now this is Le'Veon Bell with a reception. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he gets it down to the 32. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Here's Bell. Tackle by Bradley Chubb. High pick in the 2018 draft. A gain of four. It's now second and six. To throw on second and six. Darnold, he's got Herndon. He's tied in. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. That's good. That puts him in excellent position. First and goal after a gain of 19. The nine yard line. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Darnold. And they're gonna get it. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Vaughn Miller in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. That's number four. Sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie, and that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Darnold down to throw. Caught here by Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. The Broncos say they have it. They do. Darnold's pass complete. Fumble on the play. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. 
starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. So we've got a challenge. Our referee's going to take another look on the tablet. He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball's shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that would be considered a fumble. So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Back to throw, Darnold. Good work by that Bronco defense, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble with this defense, and that's exactly the way that this game has gone. Pressure in his face. Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his, I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. So here are the Broncos to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. He's got this complete to Hamilton. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 37. On second down now, it's Gordon. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Patrick on Wasor. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First down. Throwing now is Locke. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down. First down, Denver. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Now Gordon on first down. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. on the tackle. He's getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Broncos on third down, 0 for three to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. 
Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Block with a quick throw out to Judy. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. That catch good for only a couple. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Locks throw caught by Sutton. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. I know a lot of Denver fans are really excited about the possibilities for Cortland Sutton now that Drew Locke is entrenched as their starting quarterback. Remember, last season, last five games with Locke as the guy in charge, the team went 4-1. and one. I think they'll only get better and better. As for the season, Cortland Sutton had 1,112 yards and six touchdowns with three different quarterbacks. Just put the ball in his vicinity, and he'll make a play. The kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They look to throw. It's Locke. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. He's at the 50. The 30. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. Yes. And a big turning point here in the second half, Charles, after that play. All you're trying to do is change momentum, flip things around for your team. You're just trying to take the ball away. How about when you take it away and score? That really changes things. Steven Hauschko for the point after. And the lead is up to five. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this carries into the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you... And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinn and Williams there to bring him down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Shotgun snap to lock. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's third down. On third and long, it's Locke. That's caught left side by Judy. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also leads to a fourth down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Here's Sam Martin now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Change of possession here on the punt. And now will come the offense as they take over. And New York set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at the 34. He'll throw from the gun. Throw complete to Herndon. Donald's Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a game of five. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll run it with Bell. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll try and run some clock now with Bell. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Now after the run by Bell, here's another first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Darnold on the keeper. Second and 11 now. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 27-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Down right around the 25. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Third and nine. Darnold is going to take a knee, and that should just about do it. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This a 43-yard attempt. Saying the old cliche, if you wrote points at a premium, that certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So for the Jets. It'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for Denver, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to throw. Let's make this rocket. 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 Rocket.